have inspired to do this video because there was a lot of talk about feminism. I also wrote a Facebook post about my views on public breastfeeding, which is that if anyone tries to stop a mom from doing public breastfeeding, she should either spray them in the face with her breast milk or tell them that she will only cover her boobs if they cover their ugly face because their ugly face is also offensive. So the link is in the video description below. You can read the full post if you want. Many people shared the post and talked about it and there were some feminist kind of comments in there encouraging me to smash the patriarchy and such. And I think my views on public breastfeeding are kind of in line with my usual stance on things which is that people who are easily offended can go and fuck themselves. It is however also a kind of feminist stance um, but I'm not a feminist and I'm gonna explain to you guys why. What is the definition of feminism? A movement that aims to get equal rights and opportunities for women. Feminists love to bring up this definition and use it on anyone who doesn't self-identify as a feminist and say, why wouldn't you want men and women to be treated equally? I don't. How I feel is based on my own personal experiences, so bear with me as I give you guys some background. It's been said that there are three different waves of feminism. In the olden days, females couldn't vote, own property, they cannot get education, etc. It's the first two waves of feminism that got us to where we are today in modern society and I sincerely thank those feminists for their hard work. Third wave feminism, and in other words, modern feminism, I feel isn't just unnecessary, sometimes it's actually toxic. Growing up, I've never felt oppressed just because I'm female. I learned from a young age that boys are supposed to give in to girls. If I'm at the playground and a boy around my age reaches the swing the same time as me, he'll most likely let me go first or his mom will tell him, Ayo, she's girl, you are boy, just let her go first, be a gentleman, it's okay. He has no choice but to wait. If he shows me aside to go on the swing, I can simply cry and all the adults will scold him. If I shove him and he cries, he's caught a whim by all the other kids. Day after day, we get all these tiny advantages from being female since we are little children. Have we become so accustomed to them that we stopped being grateful and started thinking that being treated with chivalry is our right just because we are female? It isn't. When I started working part-time as a banquet waitress, I saw with my own eyes how the boys get the exact same pay as the girls, yet they are expected to do almost double the work, lifting all these giant trays filled with heavy plates in and out of the kitchens while the girls just have to smile and serve some drinks. And then I reached the age where boys had to do national service. They told me the horror stories of holding their shit in for 5 days or how they're getting paid so little or horrific jungle mosquitoes. Later on when I wanted to make blogging my career, I would admit that things got a little bit difficult because I was one of the rare females among the male bloggers. A lot of them were hostile and called me a bimbo. I never once thought it was because I'm female. I think the reason why they call me a bimbo is probably because I look like an Asian Paris Hilton and I made the choice to look like that. Criticism and disrespect didn't stop me from reaching the top. Soon, my stats surpassed all those men who looked down on me. I'm the pioneer of Singapore influencer marketing and I'm still one of the top earning. These men who call me stupid can go and eat shit. When it came to dating, I realized that all I had to do was to make guys be interested in me and they would pick me up from home, bring me to eat free meals, pay for my movie tickets, then send me home. Sometimes I even get flowers or chocolates. It's pretty awesome. So one day I managed to successfully sustain a guy's interest in me for so long that I told him it's actually time for him to get me a diamond ring. And then I made him sign a piece of paper that says that if he ever leaves me, he will most likely have to give me half of his salary for the rest of his life and if we have children, I will most likely have custody of them. What a stupid deal. <laughs> Men are so dumb. Um, but wait, what? Uh, no, I, I don't feel that way. Oh, okay. Apparently, I've been oppressed by the patriarchy for so long that now I'm completely brainwashed into loving my oppressors. That makes sense. That also explains why way less men want to get married compared to females. It's because we have all gone crazy and we have some internalized haywiring going on. Seriously though, the main reason why I'm not a feminist is because I can't seem to find good and reasonable answers to some of my burning questions. Equality sounds great, but how is it going to be enforced? Do you really want equality or are you just making noise for the sake of talking? Empty words that totally reinforce the already negative stereotype of women that we don't know what we want. Or can you justify your ideology? 
it's important when we consider as a society what should be somebody's rights and when giving them that right does it infringe on another person's rights when our foremothers were fighting for women to be able to vote giving them that right infringes on nobody's rights in modern society women have all the legal rights that men have and surprise we may actually have more for example we make the decision on whether we want to keep our pregnancy and if we do we can force the man to give financial support against his will or we can also murder his child against his will maybe you're saying that he shouldn't have sex with you if he didn't want a say in what happens to his baby but i'm sorry that's just not a valid argument it's like if somebody tells you oh in this country you get your hands chopped off if you steal something and you say well that doesn't seem like it's fair and your response is simply if you don't want your hand chopped off then don't steal something that's not arguing the morality of the system and what's worse for the man is that if you had raped him to get that pregnancy it's still not called rape because women cannot rape rape is defined as a penis entering a vagina here's another legal right that women have that men don't in order to be eligible to vote we don't have to serve the army and agree to die for the country like men do we also get alimonies, we are way more likely to get custody of children. In Singapore, we can never be cane like the men are even if we commit the exact same crime. If feminists claim to want equality, then answer me this. Do you also want to abolish all those laws that protect and favour women? You cannot demand to be seen as men's equal and yet also want to be seen as weaker and therefore needing legal protection. Which is it? Some feminists may say that right now we need these laws and rules precisely because we are treated so badly and we are so oppressed. These laws help us to level the playing field but even then it's not enough. Alright, so that's like saying women earn less than men and therefore it's fair that men pay for dates. Am I right? It's oppression and compensation, right? Except that the real situation is a lot more complicated than that. The gender wage gap has been widely debunked everywhere by economists. Just google it and there are plenty of articles talking about this. Well, women earn less for a lot of reasons and one of the biggest ones is that we choose to work lesser hours than men. Choosing to focus on our family. It is our choice. So saying that men should be penalised for what women choose to do, that just seems unfair. In a utopic feminist world where women earn the same as men, are women supposed to go Dutch for dates? Fuck that. No thanks. I don't want to be paying for some dude's meal. I'll admit that we live in a society where certain things may be more difficult for women, but in general, everything is meritocratic in nature and if you work hard enough, there's really nothing that you cannot achieve. A fair system is important. Having the same pay as your male counterpart just by virtue of the fact that you are female is not a right. Respect from your boss is not a right. Put in the same hard work and dedication as your male colleague does and you will be rewarded equally. If when all things being equal, females are actually paid less than males, then why don't all companies just hire females? Companies are only interested in profit making. So why pay a man more when a woman can do the exact same thing for less? When focusing on the difficulties that women have, Feminists neglect to mention the ways that women have it easy. If you want to eliminate how men have an advantage over women, you also have to eliminate the advantages women have over men. It's only fair. Otherwise, it's not a fight for equality, it's a fight for female superiority. And it's okay if you want that, but please call a spade a spade. Alright, here are some of the dumbest feminist quotes I've seen. Okay, here's the first one. Would you want to have sex with a guy who's cross-dressing? You don't. Most of us females don't. Would a guy have sex with a girl who is wearing a suit? I think most guys would. Who is the sexiest one here? It's females, not the males. So he's raping you with his mind and that's oppressing you. He should go to jail for life. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yes, that's why Hillary Clinton is running for presidency naked. Literally nobody says that. What the fuck is wrong with you? Whenever you tell a feminist, be careful when you walk down a dark alley or you might get raped, they get super pissed off because they're like, I, I don't want to be able to not walk down a dark alley. Men should not rape. The two are not oxymoronic, okay? 
You can teach men not to rape, but just in case they do rape, don't walk down a dark alley. That's not true. Okay, if a man rejects me, I hate him. I, mostly, I just think that he has very bad taste. Because they don't talk about Donald Trump's hair. Okay, you have to choose between your family or your career because you are only human and you need the same amount of sleep that everybody else does. So, while you are deciding to spend time with your family, okay, you only have so little energy in a day unless you want to take cocaine, that's your prerogative, I guess. Whenever you are spending time with your family, childless women and men are going out there spending time on their careers. Do you expect them to not work when you're not working? That just doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, but you have to choose. This is literally the very definition of oppression, okay? Somebody is not what you want them to be and you call them names. Okay, now you're not fighting about a sexist issue. You just want to be a lazy slob, right? An ugly, lazy female who doesn't shave, doesn't put makeup and uh, has like armpit hair that reaches up to your crotch. You just won't have a sexual partner. That's it. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's just how the system works for both men and females. So... This is a woman who's bleeding through her white yoga pants and she's basically saying that men should not oppress women by being disgusted with a natural bodily function of ours, which is to menstruate. You are disgusting, okay? Nobody wants to see your period blood. Please stop. Everybody hates bodily fluids. People are disgusted by sweat, cum, by smegma, uh, by mucus, by phlegm, your period blood is not going to go off that list anytime soon and in fact the more you push it on men the more disgusted they will be so stop it all right i'll end off here with my favorite quote i don't need feminism because when i say no to feminism feminists don't understand that no means no feminists are always saying that they are being oppressed but guess what you are the one who's oppressing all the females who are telling you they are not interested in being feminist Please leave us alone and stop calling us names. If you're a feminist, please feel free to leave me a comment telling me how you disagree with me. I'm going off to suck some cock. Bye.